Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Galiba Khalakhote, also known as Dark Dindi on all my social media platforms. Click the subscribe button and all shall be well, you know. Um, not much to say because at this point where I am right now, it's Monday, public holiday. I don't know what this vlog or this video is going to be but it's just me welcoming you to my home our home our beautiful community it's fun this side stay to find out um yeah i hope you like what you see you know and yeah
nice mm -hmm. uh, certifications. Okay, I actually have one. <laughs> <laughs> you made it seem like you have like four. Yeah, yeah I have four. Yeah. Okay, I have. Okay, which one do you have? Uh, I have that uh, the one that most people usually get. The first one. Yeah. The club practitioner. Yeah. Why did you get it? Um, I don't know. People would like getting nah, it. Start like, off with uh, this one, you know. So. But here's my thing about them. Like, do you think you can get into AWS with just those and no degree? Hmm. That's a that's an interesting question. Or like, is it possible to get into the market with just like boot camp certifications? Basically, mm -hmm. it still is doing um, compute comp side degree still worth it. That's basically what I'm trying to ask. I'm not prepared for this question. So I'm not. I'm no, no, no. I'm it's just lie. in your opinion. Yeah. Guys, everything we discuss and say with everyone I've spoken to is just solely yeah. their opinion. It's not mm -hmm. the truth, the way, or the light. And everybody's entitled to their own opinion. None of this yeah. or what we say is tied or associated with Amazon or its yeah. subsidiaries. Okay. Thank you. I feel like, me, personally, um, in terms of like, skills you can have mm -hmm. you don't necessarily like need certifications Why comes that degree? do you need it to do you, is it still worth it in 2025 i'm asking this question <clears> because <throat> if not everyone i think everyone in our team has a degree in it comes yeah. degree minimum yeah. Yeah. yeah so do you think it's still worth it in 2025 i think it's still worth it um but i sense a but in the in the sense that um, it can somehow prove to like your potential employers mm. that you are able to go through um, a, a degree for like three years or four years. You know, it kind of like shows some consistency, you know, in terms mm. of reaching a goal and stuff like that. But would I say that it's a must have to have a job? I would say no. Sorry, I was reading your chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry because I do that too. And I'm like, yeah, you're not don't supposed know, to do that. Like... I'm old. Says of its graduates with distinction. Yeah, Period. No. But like, swear my grandma thinks I fix like no, the coders. No. <laughs> fix a YouTube. <laughs> but, <laughs> My wow. mom is like, my print is broken. But a big misconception is that they just think of IT in general. They don't think of software. The more new. Why engineering, like software engineering? Because I know most people, unfortunately, especially females, go into data science. Mm. And I don't want to be that person, but <laughs> it is reality. So why did you go with strong software engineering? So I actually didn't start off in software engineering like interesting first year uni mm -hmm. i was in my breaking bad era <laughs> i did pharmacy really and then sort of fell in yeah. love with tech hi fell in love with tech and my brother did computer science and so i saw him make apps and i was like that's, that's so, cool. so cool and then he teach me like how to do certain things mm. and um, like he'd ask for my feedback on like what how things should look like the layout of you know, so CSS and those sorts of things and so, so what you do now front end ba basically yeah. and then going throughout uni I just I fell in love with it so much um, yeah it's honors ex exactly exactly no I really like I like expressing myself creatively through whatever I do and I feel like front end is where I get to shine when I made my portfolio website um like it was like a 3d website that's so and cool. so it was so fun to like put whatever you're learning at uni and mix it with yourself and do whatever you want it's just I found that really rewarding so guys he's back can you give us like a brief introduction of who you are and how you got here uh, Amanda Mm -hmm. uh, how did I get here? I don't know. I was on 
the bare sea program and then just got the call up so it was just a, a lot of a, str a much straighter path for me straight out of uni straight yeah pretty much yeah the life we all dream of oh fun fact about manja can i tell them depends what the fact is no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 Okay, no. fine. Not that. No, 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 um, first question. Mm. Do you enjoy what you do and what specifically do you enjoy about it? I do enjoy what I do. I think that the thing I enjoy most about it is the problem-solving nature of mm -hmm. software dev work. Uh, no, they're really exactly the same. There's a lot of trust in engineers to get the job done, so you have a lot more freedoms than I think you would and other like corporate jobs but at the same time there's also the what's it the the, the pressure to get the, the the job done obviously and i think that for me uh, it's just the it was the best corporate job i could get there's this whole ai chat that's like oh he's taking my jobs how do you feel about that a bit more yeah i think it all but like my um what can i say argument to it it's like remember the discovery of calculators everyone was like oh there's no need to learn maths now because the calculators will yeah. do all the maths for you yeah but then it's like obviously you need to know how to work that thing okay wrong analogy not quite close but i think you can see where i'm going with what, this. I, what i'll say is you need to learn how to like at least read the code and where to use it and how yeah, no, to of course it. of course but like what i'll say is Back in the day, you'd need to hire a mathematician to run big sums, mm -hmm. let's say. Now you don't. The idea of what a mathematician is has changed. But in all intents and purposes, if I was someone from 1800, 1856, and I was a mathematician, well, my job had been replaced by the calculator, right? We just now have a different idea of what that job is. And I imagine it'll be the same exactly. for software engineering, software engineering. But as we know it now, yeah, it'll get replaced. So it's not doomsday, it's just like... A... Uh, uh, if, if you love exactly what you do now, yeah, it's pretty doomsday. -y. But you'll still have a job. There'll still... still be other challenges you'll have. You, ha you have to adapt and mm. like yeah, kind of like keep up with the pace of how of everything course. is going. Because if you decide to stay where you are, you're going to stay where exactly. you are. So but, it's not doomsday. Can we agree? Yeah, it's not doomsday. But what we're doing will be replaced. Exactly what we're doing big, today. In a, in a big sense. Not everything, but in a big sense. I think eventually it will. I just don't think it's going to happen very soon. I'll give it like 10 years, 15 mm. years, which for me is more than enough. Which is actually soon because think about it. The mannequin challenge was 10 years ago. Yeah, that was long ago. That girl is a real yeah, copy. That was long ago. <laughs> So, yeah, you see my lambda function works. Yeah. Guys, today we have... Shaquille. <laughs> Shaquille, um, an L5, if you don't know what an L5 is. Remember this code? Mm -hmm. That was that was us, right? But Time or... Yes. I, I, so, I, I went to UCT. Mm -hmm. 2016 to 2019. Mm -hmm. um, I did a four-year degree. Yeah. Um, the honors, computer science honors. Um, I minored in games development, which I don't think they offer anymore. Um, they don't. Yeah, I don't think they offer anymore. It was like Why a very did short. You minor in... I like games. I enjoy. Okay. I enjoy game development. Okay. Um, yeah, I did. I did my honors, and then I I actually up for Amazon for AWS. Um, at the end of my honors year, but I applied for the, the full time job. It's so like a full time a L4 yeah. um, graduate position. Went through like the interview loop yeah. uh, and everything. <laughs> and then one day I was in the UCT yeah. library it's and then cold. they. Oh. It is cold, yeah. There's a vent. It's oh. covered with right here. Yeah. It's nice in summer though. Not now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I applied for the full-time position, but then actually they rejected me for the full-time position. Um, but in the same phone call, they were like, but, but. We'll, uh, we'll offer you an intern position. Because you're so in the brave, meantime. we can't let you go. Because, yeah, maybe something like that. <laughs> or at least that's what I But did they explain why? I think it was because I lacked experience, which kind of makes sense in a way. I was like oh, fresh out of because for like a graduate experience, you were kind of expected to be on the same level as everybody else that you're going to be on the team with. Yeah, so it wasn't really a graduate position. It was just like the standard, like, like the full time, full -time, oh, full -time thing. That actually makes more sense because with internship, I would know. They give you more grace in terms of like learning and all right, that. Right, right. Yeah. So do you prefer that or would you have rather like I, I, I enjoyed the intern experience. I think it's like a, a much easier introduction to to the work the workplace mm. uh, without so much pressure, you know, because I mean, you're an intern, like people don't expect too much from you. They don't expect too much. Especially if you're new and you don't do anything. So <laughs> I'm not upset. Uh, I'm not upset about it. So the, you, it, would, it went perfectly, basically. It did, yes, because oh. they eventually offered me the job after, after the internship. And today, <laughs> couple of years later yeah not a couple of years it's pretty impressive from the time <laughs> when you started until now oh also an industry related question from one of my supporters i think ai is gonna take our job no I, I don't think so okay yay finally team but, no but, but i would say that you should learn how to use it and incorporate it into your your day to day or your job um because i feel like those who don't might get it is like remotely complex i think mm. we've got a solid couple of decades before and we have then, to worry last question i don't know how you'll be able to answer this question but i'm going to ask you anyway what do you think companies look for when you're applying for like an sde position being able to work in a team mm. um it could be some of the even though i can't do any coding but i'm great with working with people yeah i mean there's, there's obviously you need both to a degree um Working in a team is like obviously one of the big things because they're going to work with you. So, um, you know, are you capable of taking feedback, working working with other people, um, which you would have done, you know, with, that's the point of university projects and, and team projects and stuff like that. Um, for the coding part, I mean, a lot of the time they're just going to ask you like lead code. And, and hacker rank and stuff like that so get really good at answering those yeah. um, you'll, you'll get to the, the coding part of it just fine I think and I feel like if I was a viewer I'd get so like oh, over this advice but that's actually really solid because that's mm. how I got here so everybody say thank you Shakira